In this tutorial in CyberLink Power Director, we're going to look at three ways to trim an audio track that you're using in a slideshow when the audio track is longer than the slideshow. There is a method built into the slideshow creator in CyberLink Power Director, but we've got two other options that in many cases will give you a slightly more refined result. So we have some slides from a mission presentation here. We've placed them on track number one. And so we're going to highlight all of them and then click on the slideshow button above the timeline. That takes us into our slideshow creator. Now we have all kinds of styles that we can choose. We'll just use the cell one for now. And if I want to add music, normally what I would do would be click on the music icon with a plus the music symbol on the lower right corner and that will take me to my file system. I can go anywhere I want to and cl click on the file I want and then click on the open button. And it loads that particular audio file into my project. Now I may want to know how long it is. If I want to find out the length all I do is click on music preferences button in the lower right corner it gives me the duration of the file. In this case, it's 3 minutes, 9 seconds, and 14 frames. I also have a trim function, which we'll get back to in a moment. So I'll click cancel on that. Now, if I want to go ahead and see how long the slide presentation will be, I click on the Next button. It will go ahead and begin to produce that particular slideshow inside the Slideshow Creator. And when it's finished, I'll have a preview screen. I can go ahead and play it. And I can see and hear the slideshow. What I'd like to do is find out how long it is. Best way I know is to take my indicator and drag the scrubber all the way to the end. And in this case, it's 46 seconds and 22 frames. I'm writing that down so I can remember that. Now instead of moving forward, I'm going to move backward to the previous button. And now what I want to do is go back into my Music Preferences button. Here I have the first way of trimming audio for a slideshow when it's longer than the slideshow. The duration of the slideshow is 46 seconds, 22 frames. So I can take this uh, trim function here, I can trim from either end and shorten it. Here I see the duration at the lower right and try to get to 46 seconds and 22 frames. But you notice a problem I have. I can't get exactly perfect. I have no way to expand this timeline here and to go frame by frame. So if you're in a hurry this will work but it will not necessarily give you the results you want. It's also hard to figure out exactly where your start and end point is. You can play the clip and hear what's going on from wherever the marker is. But for me, it's a little bit primitive. So if you're in a hurry, want to do it quick, this will work, but it wouldn't be my recommendation. So I'm going to cancel out of that for now. Let me give you two other ways that are useful in case you want a little more precision. They both involve simply removing the music file from the project. So I'll click on the minus here. And now I can actually go ahead and produce the file without music. I'll click Next. And now it will go ahead and produce it. Then I click on Next again. And then I'll click on Advanced Editing. Now it warns me that the slideshow will replace the clips in the timeline. I'm fine with that. So we'll click on OK. And now I have my slideshow the way I want it, but without any music. So I can add the music like I would any other audio track. Now there's one thing I found that's kind of interesting. Notice the duration here is now 44 seconds and 24 frames. That's different than the number I had inside the slideshow creator, and I don't know why they're different. But what I've done is I'm going to go ahead and take that same piece of audio, which I did put in my media room. I'll drag it down and drop it on 
track number one. And there I have my audio. Now let me give you two other ways to trim the audio. And we have tutorials uh, on both of them. The first is to use my trim function, the scissors, above the timeline. I can click on that. And here I have a lot more options. I can actually magnify my waveform. I can zoom in on it as much as I want. And I have a duration control. I can control how long it is. For example, I could set this to 0 minutes and 44 seconds and 24 frames. And now I have a duration. I can start change the in position. I can change the out position. Uh, I can do anything I want to make it the right length. And then when I'm done, I click on OK and it perfectly matches here. We can do fade in and fade out and other kinds of changes. I'll do control Z to get out of there. The other option I have, if, if you have a more recent version of PowerDirector, you can click on the Edit Audio and you can use either the Wave Editor or if you've separately purchased the Audio Director, you can use that. I'm going to click on the Wave Editor for now. And then it pulls it into my Wave Editor and I have all the functions here. I can cut, copy, paste, duplicate, uh, really control the, the music I have in that clip very, very well and very, very precisely in the Wave Editor. And then when I'm done, I just click on the X. We're not going to change anything here. And then that pops me back to my primary screen and I can use the edited version along with a slideshow. So part of it depends on how finished you want your project to be. The slideshow creator will give you a truncated version of that audio file, but not necessarily in a way that feels smooth. If that's all you need, that's fine. If you want some more options, you've got the trim function, and for many of you, you've got either the wave editor or the audio director. Mm -hmm.